This is such an amazing problem as it looks awesome. And also it will help you apply too many concepts in a single problem. Also, after doing some math, when you will see the relationship between these four tangents, you will literally widen your eyes in shock. Okay, we have a rectangle here, and inside this rectangle we have a circle. We have four tangents drawn from the four vertices of this rectangle, and their lengths are given except for this one, which we are supposed to find. So, can you solve it? First thing is, we know that in any circle, radius and the tangent line are always perpendicular to each other. So, when we draw this radius, it will be perpendicular to this tangent. Similarly, all of these three radii will also be perpendicular to their respective tangents. Label all these radii as R. Now draw this line which connects this vertex of the rectangle to the center of the circle. Let us label it as A. This will be a right triangle. So, we will use Pythagoras' theorem to find its value. We get A square equals 10 square plus R square. Now draw this line and label it as B. Consider this triangle. We get B square equals 85 square plus R square. Now draw this line and label it as C. We get C square equals X square plus R square. Finally, draw this line and label it as D. We get D square equals 34 square plus R square. So far, so good. Now here comes part two of this video. Consider this rectangle and this circle. Make these lines which connect the vertices to the center of this circle. Then let us draw these two perpendicular lines like this from the center of this circle. Then label this as B1, this as B2, this as H1, and this as H2. So this will also be B1. This will be the same as B2. This will be H1, and this will be H2. So we have A square equals B, one square plus H, one square. Then B square equals B, two square plus H, one square. Then C square equals B, two square plus H, two square. Finally, D square equals B, one square plus H, two square. Now here comes the magic. Subtract a square with b square to get this minus this. Expand it to get this. Oh, look, h1 square gets cancelled, and we are left with b1 square minus b2 square. Similarly, subtract d square with c square to get this minus this. Expand it to get this. Again, look, h2 square gets cancelled, and we are left with b1 square minus b2 square but this is same as a square minus b square. So we have a square minus b square equals d square with c square. Excellent. Now get ready to see one more magic. Look here. Substitute the values of a, b, c, and d. We get a square equals this, b square equals this, d square, and c square as these. Wow! The r squares get cancelled out, and we are left with 10 square minus 85. Square equals 34 square minus x square. This was the relationship between tangents I was talking about in the beginning. It is independent of the value of r, or the radius of this circle. So we get x square equals 85 square plus 34 square minus 10 square. This is 7225. This is 1156, and this is 100. So we get x square as 8281, or x equals 91. Isn't this cool? Just to check if you were attentive throughout this video, I have hidden three cookies somewhere in between the video. Watch the video again and comment the timestamps if you are able to find it. Also, if you like it, please don't forget to share this video with your friends and support this channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So...